So let's start. This is our high pressure fuel pump, which is faulty. And I'm just gonna show you how to check if your high pressure fuel pump is faulty or not. And uh, in the link below, you can see how to repair your high pressure fuel pump. You don't have to buy a new one or as you know, it's an expensive pot. It's like around $1,000. So you can just save it by fixing it by yourself. So uh, if you are getting any high pressure fuel pump error, or if you're taking your car to a garage, they might ask you to change your high pressure fuel pumps uh because of any error message or lack of power so you don't have to go and change it uh without any uh meaning because uh, i had the similar experience i took my car uh to a garage when i bought it uh like seven or eight years back and this just told me that the lack of power is due to high pressure fuel pump then I was not knowing anything about high pressure fuel pump so I had to uh, take their word and change it and even after changing there was no change uh, in the uh, horsepower or performance of the car so I don't want you to have in such a situation you can just go ahead and test your high pressure fuel pump before repairing it or before uh, changing with a new one that's up to you guys what do you need to do uh, either you repair or you buy a new one so what you have to do is this is a marking that I have made uh, by measuring on a scale uh, if you have a one-year caliper you don't have to have this you can just directly read it so the first marking that you can see it's 19 millimeter distance from uh, the end and the second marking is 24 millimeter from the end and the third one is 27 millimeter from the end so you can check how bad is your high pressure fuel pump if you have this marking with you if you are planning to buy a junkyard one or a used one you can have this measuring scale uh, with you uh, to go there and check if the high pressure fuel pump is good enough or not so what you have to do is this is the diaphragm part you can see there is a hole in here uh, and there is a diaphragm inside so you just make this marking uh, I have used a chopstick so you can use whatever you have a flat surface uh, in the tip and you can just insert it vertically or horizontally or however you hold it just push it in if the marking stops in here when it touches the diaphragm that means your high pressure fuel pump is good enough if it goes in it says that how bad is your high pressure fuel pump and if it reaches 27 millimeter that means your high pressure fuel pump is completely gone so you have to take it and repair if it is 24 millimeter it will be working but you will not get enough uh, uh, power in your engine so you might have delayed start uh, the car will run but it, you will encounter delayed start uh, and if it is 19 millimeter you don't have to replace it you just uh, use your car in uh, without changing the high pressure fuel pump so this is the best measuring tool that you can have with you
before uh, planning to change the high pressure fuel pump or before repairing it. Uh, and for repairing, you uh, you can see my videos. Uh, I'm gonna upload one more video after repairing this one. This one I bought one from the junkyard just to keep as a spare. And uh, I'll show you the parts. This one is a shaft. If you are buying a new one, uh, and uh, when you turn the shaft, you can feel uh, that it auto rotates after you turn for like uh, 120 degree or 180 degree. It will auto rotate when it uh, reaches the higher level of the pendulum. Like you, you just leave it and it will auto rotate a little bit. So in that way also you know that there is enough pressure inside the high pressure fuel pump. And if you are using the uh, repair method of dipping in the whole unit in uh, the oil and filling oil in it, then you have to remove the solenoid. This one is the solenoid. Uh, you just remove the solenoid with uh, five millimeter hex bits. I already took it out just just for demonstration purpose. And this one gives the connector. Uh, you can see the solenoid has uh, actually three stage uh, fuel supply system uh, depending on how much fuel your car needs so this one controls how much uh, fuel goes to the fuel lines and this is a part where the fuel goes in so the inlet is from here and the outlet is from here uh, whenever you dip uh, it completely in the electrical connection should be out so you have to remove the solenoid then dip it completely in and uh, as I have mentioned in my videos there should not be any air trapped in because trapped air uh, will be causing low pressure and uh, uh, less lubrication inside the system so I prefer completely immersing in oil and uh, changing the oil inside. Uh, you can go whichever method you want to. Uh, last one, uh, last video that I have done is without dipping. Uh, I'll share you the link and uh, one I have uh, shown with dipping, but I, I did not complete the video uh, properly. That's why I'm going to do it again and upload it. Uh, that thing will be published below so those are the things and if you are uh, doing a repair and if the pressure is too much like if it exceeds 90 millimeter it can go up to 17 but if it crosses like if it is less than 17 millimeter then you have to reduce the pressure oil pressure inside the system uh, you don't have to take the whole unit out if you are using that method from here there is uh, oil seal and uh, the shaft you can see so in between the oil seal and the shaft you can insert something which is not sharp a flat a flat or a round surface thing which is not sharp you can just insert in and uh, the oil will be pushing out so in uh, uh, such a way you can reduce the pressure inside the system so that the diaphragm measures 19 millimeter so I uh, hope uh, this will be a handy tool for you and uh, don't get in any scam uh, regarding the high pressure fuel pump uh, one more thing uh, you can get high pressure fuel pump uh from market which is uh refurbished one 
uh, main thing is that it fails 